Hey there, everyone! Uh, this is Alcower playing the grid. Today we're gonna end the Orbalon games, which is probably a good thing to just kind of speed up and get, get those over. It's just a bad fit. They're, they're good games, it's just kind of a bad fit. Alright, let's just get right in. We got the magnifying glass here, a pit tree panic. We need 20 points. Uh, Use the magnifying glass device to locate the microscopic life forms. I can do that, probably. It's just like, it's, well, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's right here. Is it that? No, uh, you, yeah, you got like this little arrow thing. Oh, wait, wait, what? No, wait, what am I doing? How did I miss? Wait, what, what, like, what did I not grasp? Okay, there we go. It's just kind of really fidgety. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of how the butterfly doesn't control very well. Okay, alright. So yeah, so it is the dots, but one of them is going to be a little bit more obvious. Got it. So, um... I've heard... Uh, 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 there you go. So yeah, so some... I've heard... You know the words. A lot of people out there were enjoying the concept of uh, the WarioWare grid as a, as an intermission game, and uh, it's nice to hear about. Like it's nice to hear that some people did actually appreciate what was going on with that, because I didn't really know, and uh, because of that, some people have expressed somewhat of a you know not disappointment but surprise. And I was just gonna go in ahead and finish because it turns out. Uh, this every day is uh, a bit much. It's not super interesting, and you know what? I kind of get it. Um, and uh, you know, I do not really have any excuse to offer other. Like, I just genuinely felt like it was time for me to to, to end these. I, I just want to have it finished at this point. So, uh, but I'll take in mind that, you know, people are not necessarily against the idea of intermissions and whatnot. In fact, there are some appreciation out there. I didn't really know that. So it, it's it's a kind of thing that as a creator, as an artist, it's nice to know. Where even is it? Uh, wait, but no, he was clearly on the thing. That one was odd. All right. But I think the mistake I did was have an intermission with a finite end. Cause yeah, like as soon as I got to like halfway, right? I was like, oh no, dude, how? How did you not? Mm. This is hard because it controls weird. Cause once I got about halfway, I was like, all right, you know, at this point, no, I, I, I want this to end and I want this to end and I, I, I've been working towards that instead of keeping it as an intermission. So, so the idea of intermission is not a wrong one, but no, I need to have something that's a little bit less finite. Uh, something that's a little bit less, uh, I have an actual legitimate end that you can search for. And uh, I get that, but yeah, like I understand that this as a series of video that you watch linearly day after day. It's not the greatest thing in the universe. And, um, I get that, but to me it's important to just see this through. So, thank you for obliging, at the very least. Hey, wow, you were just like right next to the thing. This is that, you know, it coincides also when there's a Christmas things going on. So, you know, like... Like, me... I don't like seasonal programming in real life. Like, when I'm watching a channel or something, and it stops what it normally does, to instead have like a seasonal episode. I don't like that. Normally if I watch a channel, it's because there's a very specific thing I want. And so like, to me, this is a way to offer something to people who are not into seasonal programming. I mean, I don't know, like that might affect like two person on the entire viewers, but I, they matter. Two people is two people. Cavity calamity. It 10 points only, okay. That's a difference. Get the Tooth Decaying Agent into a safe space between the teeth. Wait, I'm protecting the Tooth Decay? This does not compute. Yeah, okay, so I'm protecting Tooth Decay. That's strange. Why don't I do that? Anyway, we're playing that one castle from the six. He looks so snug, though. Snug and smug. That is a combination you have to look out for. Here, right at the start. 
I appreciate that there does seem to be some amount of let uh, before you just kind of get super killed. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Right here. All right. This is all about your ability to compare two lines, man. And I know uh, doing it live, not always the easiest thing. I wonder if what difficulty does, what level does, this change how much traveling you have to do? It did be a kind of weirdly meta in terms of difficulty switch, and so, like, I kinda hope that's not in the case. But, like, I don't know. No, because this is level 3, and it's, like, right there. No, I think it's just how complex the shapes are. But start point and end point, though, you know? Like, 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 I don't know. Like, I'm sure, like, Little Buddy is pretty fast, but, but yeah, like, if you start, like, worlds apart, I don't know where to go. Oh, it was at the other end. See, that's the thing, like, it was on the other end, but on the other side. And it's, like, not where I looked first. You know what, it's fine, though. Maybe this is why this is a 10 difficulty one, because it's, it's just kind of tricky overall. Oh, right at the end. Uh, this does not look in any way like teeth. Like, I understand that there's a level of abstraction going on. This is, you know, kind of believable. Our teeth don't interlock, though. If you have inter- oh, shoot. Yeah, I overshot because of the speed increase, you know, means that the game gets, like, a bit more input per, per, per tap than it does at the start. It's something I've been struggling here and there in a lot of games, you know, on and off. Uh, this is not really an IQ game, I feel like. Like, I feel like this could be in weird or something. I mean, it's fine, and it's nice to, you know, have something a little bit more action -y. Well, it's planning. It's it's like puzzle in the sense that Tetris is called a puzzle game. Even though, like, you can't really, like, sit down and, like, plan your puzzle, plan your song. Like, it's quick thinking, like, quick action-reaction puzzle. It's a puzzle for your reflex brain. Good old re oh, whoa 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 yeah again this is this is the this is the extra speed that is um kind of eating away at my ability to move precisely and you know it is expected it is part of the game well it's like it's almost like you would want to move around by strictly tapping uh, at some point I don't know how reliable that would be oh he's gonna sneak here against the blind corner there you go. All right, this one is pretty obvious. Like, see, sometimes it's just like a big thing. It's it's when it's part of another divot. It's a difference within, like, an, see, like this, super obvious. But sometimes they're less obvious. Like, well, no, oh. So I tried to move back, but I think by then the roof was already low enough that my path was stopped. So like, like, you know, there's some let, but you still cannot physically go through a move. So some patterns are just going to be a lot more deadly than others. Like, that's just the grim reality of To The K Agent. Odd man out! Ten... Did they put all the ten points together? Select the item that is different from the other items. This causes excitement! Select... And enter... Okay. Decide! Oh yeah, this one. Uh, this one is different. The the stripes are different. <laughs> I did it. I articulated my thoughts. Uh, this one spins the, the wrong way. That one's kind of tricky, eyeball wise. Gonna not gonna lie. That one might be hard for some people. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, well that one, yeah. Again, like I cannot articulate. Like it's, it's just it's like on a different. No, it's going backwards. Okay, that's what it's doing. It swarms again, look for the one with the green butt. That's the best way to see it quickly. Is it the same shapes all the time? Okay. Well, that's... Okay, I mean, I understand why they might not want to do... No. I think this one... Yeah, it's like on, not on the same frames. Okay, but they get tricky with the card stuff. Okay, uh... Okay. <laughs> when it's the first one, I kind of find it weirdly hard. Uh, you. Oh, I, I almost I almost picked the second one. I almost picked B. This one. You just literally did squares, so seeing squares again this is just kind of funny. It's ten points, so I know I won. And that one's got like this little like mouth. Uh, or no mouth at all, and it shows its gills instead. Uh, this one is no? Okay. So I was com- Okay. I think I, I see what I did wrong. 
Thingless guy? Yeah, the, it's not the same frames again, but... Yeah, this one is don't got no mouth. Instead, it can breathe. Uh, something all cookies aspire to. Alright, so there are a few variables. It's just kind of a weird, uh, this one, a thing, yeah. It's like sniffling, it's like... But you know, but like nothing. No, oh, well, that one, the eyeball is out of the head. That's pretty weird. Uh, <laughs> comic for sad children. Uh, this one, here we go. Yay. Is that the one? I don't know if I'm thinking of the right comic. This one. See, there's some things that we are just better at, right? Like, like diff different people's different brains are all sort of like, we're all kind of good at different type of these things. And I feel like I'm just good at visually differentiating things in general because I'm finding this relatively trivial. I mean, now we're getting to the part where uh, timing is getting a bit too fast. But, uh, this one. But yeah, like, like, but okay, uh, this, no, I'm... I compared A and B and I saw both were different, so I was like, oh, well. But I kind of didn't look at the rest of the group because, you know, time is getting time and, you know, there's a finite amount of time in the universe. You gotta make a choice. This guy? Yeah, this guy. Alright, which bud is different? It's yours! Always look... Uh, uh... I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. See, that one... That one was weird. Uh, I... It's... Oh, don't shoot. Oh, I... Um... When it start, when you start on a different one, that trips me up. Because I compare, like the first thing I do, I feel like, is like, just naturally, I'm gonna compare A and B. Then if they're different, it's like, oh shoot, which one is different? <laughs> like, well, you know, it's tricky a little bit. All right, halfway through, you see, it helps when not all the games are 30 points. The real McCoy, 10 points, here we go. Some of these units, are fake fun machines. That's a fun combination of words. Use a cranium to find the real Game Boy Advance system. Enter selection, but no button, so arrow, you're dead. In fact, that's a Game Boy Advance. Uh, uh that one's right. <laughs> because it had like, the other ones had like extra buttons, and that one's pink. Oh, we're looking at the back. Well, it's gonna be just the back. It's, it's, yeah, like, it's not gonna have buttons. That would be ridiculous. Check it out, it's orange. So it's basically, which one is a real Game Boy Advance? Okay. So really, it's just memorize what a Game Boy Advance looks like, and, you know, look for the one that's accurate. Buttons, so, you know, you got, you got D-pad, you got A and B, you got start, select, and you got, like, the button that's in... On top, this should have. I, I don't know. I don't. I, I lost track somehow. I lost track of the back. Like the front is super easy. So I'm not. A, I'm not sure why button like layer three is the front because the front is somewhat trivial. What? What? I don't. Okay, I don't see what the difference was. All right, back. That's what it looks like. Something like that. All right. I mean, as long as I can get this one, I'm good and safe. And... What? Oh, it was backwards! It was flipped around! Oh, I didn't notice that. What?! What's the difference? I don't know. I can't tell. It goes too quickly. I... Alright, well, hey. You know, I, uh... I mocked the game, so... I deserve this. What's the difference? I wish you would let me pause, because I... At first, I could not tell the difference between top and down, so, like, I don't know where to look. What's the difference? Oh, the cross... cross pad was a... okay, not in a T-shape. I'm looking too much at the right side of the controller. I wasn't looking at the left side, so that's on me.
I, I, like visually there, I could not tell the difference between the two. I'm sure that uh, if I like had like a second more to look at them, I could see what it is. But at that moment in time, I could not tell the difference. And I mean, it's fine. Like that's what the game is based on. Like, what's the difference between top and bottom there? I don't have time to. Like, I'm not sure what I am meant to look at. Like, I'm sure there's something. And, uh, like, once I would notice it, uh, it would be, like, trivially, like, obvious. But, like, I just don't see it. What's the difference between left and right there? I don't know. I, I literally do not know. I took a chance there. So there, yeah, so there's a data point I'm missing. I, in, in, in seeing what the difference is, and I, I still do not know what it is. It bothers me a little bit. Like, it turns out this, all they do is the, like, look, the, 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 the back is obvious. Oh, I think, okay, there I just, look, I was looking for differences. I did not have time to press a button. It's fine. It's okay. I doubled that. But no, yeah, so I think it might be the logo vis-a-vis -vis the, the screen maybe was a thing I didn't really notice. That could be it. I'm not sure. Two games still to go. Button masher! Oh, now we're back 25 points, all right. Button directional units are moving on my eye. Crush them so that I may open it. What a wet. That doesn't make any sense. All right, but just, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and that's, that's Orbelon's eye. So just, would mashing not work? Am I allowed to mash and rotate? Yes. I'm allowed to just rotate wildly on the D-pad without giving it any thoughts, thinking, or bone marrow. So, uh, that becomes very easy, because I just did both three levels before the wick of the bomb even appeared. I mean, I'm sure at some point it's gonna go pretty fast, and maybe I just won't physically have the time to do it, but... Yeah? No? Yeah? That's all you really need to do. <laughs> Alright, 20 more points of this. Gonna be real. You saw the game. Let's just accelerate to the end. So my, my mashing technique works pretty well up until there is like a lot of a single direction. In which case like I lose too much time at this point like rolling my thumb all around. So like it's, ooh, so like here I have to specifically pay attention to sort of like press actual direction. Even there it didn't take my, my, my input for some reason. I mean it's better that it ends now honestly. There's a world where I could keep that one going very long, but no, yeah, like, 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 when there are more arrows, uh, it does start to make a big difference. Alright, one last game for Arvalon, then we're done. I re misread that as garbage rock. <laughs> These life forms are causing vibrations in the air. They want you to clone their performance. Weird, but it's be it's Simon said again. We did that yesterday. It's it's the exact same thing as the dog and the pointing, except you know it's presented differently. But it's the exact same thing. I guess there is one major difference: is that you are replicating exactly what you see, whereas technically. Uh, with the other one, you are replicating, like, something you are shown, but that is visually distinct. So I guess you can make that distinction, even though I don't think it's all that important. Gonna be real, I find that just focusing on a D-pad... Like, yeah, but then... Then I just focus on the D-pad because their animation's kinda long, but all, it lets you buffer it, so... 
Like, I find that it's a lot easier to track if I just look at the arrow and buffer it fully. And then you get, like, that super weird pause before you're allowed to actually play. Ugh, Orbelon. I respect what you do and what you are, but for one last time, I'm just gonna say it. You do not fit the grid, like, style of the game. Your games were designed to be played all mashed up together in one big soup of unorthodox video game nonsense happening. But it's fine. It's fine. Like I also said yesterday, like, I love the, the IQ games in that sense, and I love the grid, and it wouldn't make sense to lose out on either just because they don't work together, because this intersection of these two concepts is admittedly a relatively minor and like aspect of the game and absolutely not like the focus so it's all good anyways this is happening <laughs> like yeah no accurate whoa, whoa, whoa. all right can you repeat a pattern of four yes that's the thing like up to four it's still pretty easy like it gets harder as things get faster naturally I feel like there's like a... I, I feel like there's a number where, 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 where it starts to... Ooh. Well, see, this is a little complex. Like, I feel like at five, it would start to become a little bit more complicated to... But even then, like, not impossible. Like, when would it become, like, hard, uh, I wonder, to remember a sequence? Seven, maybe? I feel like seven would be rough. I don't know. Like, it's... Pops up at four, so I wasn't sure. I was not sure. But see, like I prefer this speed of the game, though. But you know, like also, I feel like I might lose legitimately at any time at this point. But this is a speed to me that makes sense. That bear's design is pretty good. I wasn't sure. Quarter. That's pretty funny. Like, that was just straight up a uh, Shin Hadouken. Ooh. Whoa, okay, uh, be careful when I'm rolling. This was not designed with rolling your thumb on the D-pad in mind. It makes some of these uh, easier, but it is not the intent. What? Oh, I wonder what I'm wrong. See, again, though, I'm rolling, and when I roll, I go too far to, um, to the left. Yeah, again, uh, I was rolling, and I accidentally went a little bit too up. It happens, you know, fat fingering my inputs. It's gonna happen. But the most important thing is that Orbulon is done. Again, not that I don't like you or anything, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. Those are my thoughts.